this on and then you go over to your controller biome. I'm going to be showing off my new um, edit button to move out to another box where he owns everything. This mortar still awesome. Big boy found the sweet spot. I'm not a virgin, I'm a male. I know I haven't uploaded in more than a month. I don't give a shit. <laughs> In all seriousness though, guys, I'm very sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. There's my internet going down and then there's me binging Halo. I was a year late into binging Halo. Regardless though, here I am uploading a YouTube video. I don't care if it's Minecraft again, I just want to get something out. I know the UI and everything looks different, but just to prove that this is 1.18, here you go, is the experimental snapshot that everyone was talking about. My thoughts on this update is where the hell has this been for 1.17? I'm excited for the new terrain generation but at the same time I'm very disappointed because 1.17 could have been so much more with all this like here we are getting a caves and cliffs update and what do we get nothing here's some disappointing mobs and disappointing materials for you guys that's what I felt like Mojang was giving to me also neither forge nor stable version of Optifine is even out for 1.17 let alone 1.17.1 and the experimental snapshots like these can't have Optifine so we're just gonna give this a try without it once again in all seriousness my apologies for not uploading shall we begin though if you're not gonna add this new terrain generation into 1.17, at least add it into 1.17.2 just so we don't look like we're waiting for nothing. No bullshit, that's what Minecraft felt like lately. Why am I not receiving birch blocks? And why does my character look like this? This does not look right. Hold on a sec. Oh. What the hell? I'm not the only one who saw that. Wait, what is going on? What is happening right now? I am super confused. Actually, give me a sec. I need to probably disable all the resource packs. A few moments later. That might be what's wrong. There we go. I suppose snapshots don't really support resource packs very well. Speaking of which though, here's the um, ruined portal and we got a gold pickaxe out of it. That's cool, so I don't need to make another pickaxe of my own efficiency oh my god this is really fast all right cool so even though my pickaxe ran out pretty fast at least i have some uh, stuff to work with i'm still gonna need a lot more of these because i'm gonna need a crap ton of furnaces okay so here's a bit of this terrain generation you see here with an exposed dungeon that is and everyone's trying to shoot me at once and I died, yay. All right, on the journey to find my stuff, which actually isn't too far from here. Told you. I would still rather not die to the skeleton though. That's what you get. By the way, is this a tall birch forest? Yes, it is. Nice. A boring biome, but a rare one. I also feel like I'm gonna need more food. Here's some of that useless copper. Should I build a house out of copper, guys? Let me know in the comments. Also, really digging these new ore textures. Oh yeah, and just so you guys know, 1.18 is basically creepers galore. My main goal is to blow up. Realistically, I should be exploring caves, but you know, this is day one. I gotta focus up. Actually, I might go on doing this. <coughs> uh, bonsai. Whoa. Well then, there goes the mob spawner. At least I have a cozy place. But I'm probably not gonna go because once again, there's too many monsters. First of all, I just have to say, wow, this looks beautiful. I also have to tell myself, where has this been in 1.17? This was the hyped up terrain generation that was given to us in the 1.17 snapshot. 1.18 will be known as the real caves and cliffs update. Actually, know what I might do? I might explore some places. There were two things I complained about in Minecraft. Oceans and caves. Oceans are actually a lot better now, so they're fun to explore. Caves? Not so much. This update, however, just blows me away. I think you guys know about the two mods, Terraforged and Young's Better Caves. If not, Terraforged basically turns the Minecraft terrain into real life terrain, and then Young's Better Caves essentially makes caves much bigger. This snapshot just blows both of them away. There's a shipwreck. Oh, frick, I should have built doors. Okay, give me a sec. <gasps> Yo, 
beautiful. Also, it seems like I only have one door. Ah, more of that beautiful train generation. I should have kept track of my cords. Well, shoot. This is probably gonna be a long day. Boring! Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, still have no clue where I am. I think I'll just set foot here. This is why I don't set out exploring, because I have no idea where the frick I am. I might have to make more smokers. Again, not ideal. And nor is this skeleton. Like, sit down, my dude. I probably should be taking advantage of this stew, but who even cares? Oh, and there's my hood back. I miss my little hood. I suppose I can just go straight here and then just, like, go back if there's nothing. A few moments later. Well, at least I'm not lost, so I can just head back. Now, if I dip down here, then I probably should be able to set up a few doors. Speaking of down, the new lowest point is Weiss negative 64. I know, it's no longer zero. Shocking. I think this cave will work. Ooh, hold on a second. I think I might be up to something. This might actually work. Oh, I just need to keep mining through. Up oh, there goes my pickaxe. Ooh, now hold on a second. What do you say we go even further into this? Rats blocked in the cave. Huh. What do we have here? Or should I say, there. I know, curse me for making it all about the iron and not the actual biomes. This is still something for me to be excited about, though. Okay, regardless though, here's our precious iron. Ooh, now hold on a second, is this lapis? Deep slate lapis, wow, this is pretty. Like, the cave generation is so good, but why isn't this in 1.17? Why are we only seeing this in the experimental snapshots? I mean, frick. My mango! First monster in that cave. By the way, I'm sorry if it looks like there's a sky over there, that's just because I have the render distance low. I probably should turn it higher, but it would frick with my FPS, so. Anyway, I think this is where I'm gonna end the video, guys. So thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm planning to make this a series, although if you want me to continue on with other stuff like Valorant or Apex, let me know in the comments. I just haven't got to those games because my internet was kinda down bad. But man, this is pretty. So this experimental snapshot was more about the terrain generation and less about like the warden for example that's still going to be an upcoming feature for 1.18 and mojang if you're watching this please add this terrain generation to 1.17.2 so we don't have to wait for it and pretend that the caves are good thank you guys for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have leave a like and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on the post notice so you never miss out on a video once again i apologize for not uploading in more than a month i've been really busy with some other stuff i'll try and upload consistently but it's kind of hard when you have a bunch of commissions heading your way with no internet so yeah i'll see you guys next time bye bye